I must be careful to not overindulge tonight. Must I have control to slip into the earth A most welcome sight. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. <laughs> Just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. It is one that can weather any distance. Any passage of time. I know it can. For I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. That was more than worth the wait. That was more than worth the wait? Oh, I suppose you didn't mean that literally. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. It is, truly. Though a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated. I spoke often of balance before. Only now do I realize that balance is no simple, fixed thing. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but... It is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. Ha! <laughs> You would ask to be tucked in next, but whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. <laughs> More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes, but I hope that time is quite a while off yet. I am all ears. Though, I never cared for that phrase. A rather... unsettling image. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. As did I, but... Somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself. Even at a ripe old age. On occasion, but... I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Korga was... beyond saving. But the others have a true mentor now, and I am very glad for them. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but... I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet... They always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. That really is a party. Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy. Educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. She did not. I'm delighted to report. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. It was like... exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Ah, so you still remember our little lesson. Hmm. Pity we can't repeat it now. Quite certain you'd pass with flying colors. If nothing else, you'd give it more enthusiasm than some of my current apprentices. Oh, they try their best, of course. And they can manage to stay awake. The cheek 
think of them. Nothing a well-placed swipe from Tara can't fix, though. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? I almost feel sorry for the devils in your path. I mean, I don't. Of course. I'm sure they deserve it. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the allure of sharing your expertise. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. My apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. The time enough to come. What did I wish for? Oh, right. You. Hello. Yes, I'm certain it is. As for you, well, I've heard congratulations are in order. You helped Mr. Dakario save Baldur's Gate from the absolute, isn't that right? Well done. Despite my old friend's genius, he'd have blown himself up long ago if not for the help of friends like you and I. You ought to come visit myself and Gail when you're able, if you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them. But a great many things have changed in recent months. Ta-ta, darling. My friend, the Hellswalker. For two months, I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more, I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I travel through limbo, but to see your face, it brings me even more pleasure than taking a royal inquisitor's head. It's nice to hear it. It's taken a dozen gishes talents, a few stolen psi crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth it, I'd say. I miss this place. This... Oh, Fay run. Shrek to law. Let's say both. I can't imagine a greater pleasure than Vlacket's unmaking. Shrek to law is the capital of the gifts arrive. An exiled people. One skin with mine until the madness of civil war ripped out one sky into two. Al Gish sent word of the rebellion to their god king Zareth Minyaragi through the cosmos. He's agreed to parley. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Exactly the reaction I expected. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. 
Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am a warrior of the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlakit's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free! But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. Soon, when the comet has risen, when the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point, I missed you. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. I'm glad the months have not been wasted. Particularly as I spent them cleaning up the mess we made of the city. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Uh, the upper city has been almost entirely rebuilt. That's where the gold is. Even the builder's scaffolds are cleared from the streets. No dust left to sneeze at. Baldurians simply... get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers! have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing aid funds. They might learn a thing or two, if they don't expel her. Again. Ah, there is still much to do. People to house. A Harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city. But so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. For all your travels. I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Sentiment. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er do well might have tampered with the wine. Aha! You see? Boo! We are not dreaming! It is our old friend! 
Oh, and it is good to be seen. Oh, after so many days down in the dark, Minsk began to wonder if he was some blind bug who had only dreamed himself to be large and bulksome. You will forgive the aroma, I hope. We were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. Boo had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. Minsk and Boo have been helping, of course. We guard the streets, while Jahira is occupied with harperish matters. Rizentarum rule the city's underbelly, so Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> I... Execution, says Boo, though I, I am not sure of the difference. It is a long walk to the gallows, and Minsk still has his fists, no? In ample time indeed. So long as the Bone Mage returns us to our cell by dawn, Boo would not be late to the bloodshed. But leave such matters for the morn. Tonight is for celebration, and the telling of tales! How have you filled your days, since we tore this sticky tyrant from the sky? Oh, Boo, do you know what it would mean? To find a cure for Karlak's heart? Exactly! Her heart would be cured! Oh, when this day comes, you must come and bunk with Minsk and Boo. There is much merriment to be made before the night is done. Go, and greet the others. Minsk shall make himself presentable. Ah, this pond shall do nicely, Boo. Though I see no soap. So you shall have to blow the bubbles for me. Mm. Ah! Oh, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Oh, I wouldn't bother you with such things during a party. And anyway, I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? I? Me? It's all Volo, as far as I'm concerned. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft, and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you, hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, my God! He wasn't kidding. Withers, you mad bastard! You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beauts! Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in... six months? Here, here. Enjoy it, soldier. You've earned it. You don't need to ask, soldier.
got a knight in her, I think. Any trouble and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. Oh, hey, before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. An old acquaintance called Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And look at you. Straight from the hells. Still reeking of brimstone. I take it you've been having fun. <laughs> Understandable. But try to resist the urge. I don't want to know what your clothes have been through since we last met. Although I do like the style. Tortured armor never does go out of fashion. <laughs> Cheeky. I've been very well behaved. Thank you. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. Yes, but you say all sorts of things. Honestly, I don't even listen half the time. It has made for a nice change, though. Inspiring hope in people, instead of terror. Well, I do try to inspire a little terror. I'm still me, after all. I did at first. But then I realized. These shadows. This darkness. It's all a part of me. I spent too long defined by what other people did to me. The choices other people made for me. But that's over now. This is who I am. In all my glory, for better and for worse. But that being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. Keeping us all on tenterhook so you could make a dramatic entrance, is it? Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Honestly, so have I. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. I'm not entirely sure I'd agree. In fact, I found a nice meadow not far from where I live now. Every now and again, I'll spend the night there. For all time's sake. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt. But 
I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Wandering, mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents, on where they came from. And where I came from too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. Gods, your truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. Oh, I know they are. I can still sense them, I think. And one day we'll be reunited. Well, I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharons on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the Cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime target to offer up to their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. projection holds. It took a dozen Gish's talents, a few stolen Psy crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure it. You can touch, taste, and talk, but your fleshy body is in limbo, the home of the mystical Githzerai. Once the Githzerai were one with the Githyanki, until bloody civil war severed the Gith species. The Githzerai God King Menyar Agith sent word through the cosmos. He knows of your rebellion, and he's agreed to parley. Should the Githzerai join you, you could vanquish Flaketh in a red dragon's blink. What's the word on the rebellion? I presume you've cracked open more Kithraki heads than you could possibly count. Ah, diplomacy. Not so different from fighting, I find. You still grip your blade. You just hide it beneath a silken glove. I'm no stranger to it myself. 
A city is not rebuilt with the simple wave of a duke's hand. Bargains must be made. Coin must change hands. Tongues must be held in check. Father leaves me to my own devices, though he's got no shortage of advice when I ask for it. Still, I make the decisions I see fit. The ones I think will restore the city to glory. I serve only Baldur's Gate. Not a devil of the first hell. I've had more than a few challenges, given the horns sprouting from my head. The people know me as one of the champions who saved their beloved city. They know Raven Guard blood flows through my veins. The Patriarchs, the aristocracy, the councils of Waterdeep and Arm. Their arms aren't so wide open. Still, there's no friction that can't be greased with a sly promise or a proposition. Disbanded, to be formed anew. I don't expect a soldier or street sweeper to see through the schemes of a tyrant like Gortash. But the city's lords and ladies were all too eager to abandon their oaths and bend the knee. My father, Older Ravenguard, is now Grand Duke of the Triad, Keeper of the Fist. Cordula Eltan is the Duke of the Sea Tower, a legacy reborn. And I am Will Ravenguard. Grand Duke of the Worm, Heart of the Gate, we will yet be four. Until such time and after, we will enact the will of the People's Parliament. Baldur's Gate is nothing without its citizens, both in the upper and lower. Our duty is to them, and only them. The jewel of the coast will shine ever bright welcoming the weak and the weary from wherever they hail. We are building new housing, not just shanties, but homes where families can rest their heads, plant gardens, pursue happiness. Amazing what can be done when Parliament and the Council pressure the upper city elites to open their coffers. <laughs> I'm sure the Silver Shields can make do without a few more jeweled crowns. Father's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with as brave a heart as ever, and delivered them nary a scolding nor lashing. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis, with a few exceptions. Fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. Of course. Never. The Hexes and Eldritch Blasts, losing them, took getting used to. They left behind a cold abyss where fire once raged. So I stoked a new one. Now the burning comes from within me, not from the depths of Avernus. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Baldur's Gate. 
until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, Love, and above all, problems worth solving.
head upon my neck A soft caress as cold as death Stop it.
There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more.